Believe in yourself, believe in the journey you're on, believe in the life you are creating and believe that you're worthy of it and you will not have a problem, girl. And in my journal, I wrote that my day is going to flow really calm and effortlessly and I'm going to be really present today. It's like every person's worst nightmare in the morning is to see that flashing. Happy, happy dance dance. Happy, happy dance dance. Rainy old day today, so I don't think we'll be doing much today, but I've got my lemon water, Huxley's still asleep, so I'm going to sit down, do some journaling and plan out my day. We were undiscovered, didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I. Thought I was okay Till something in me changed Don't know why Don't know why So I can just hear Hoxie waking up But I've had a little bit of time To sit down, journal I've tried to do it every day Mornings are like gold for me Because I feel like I can brain dump And then feel really clear and calm For the rest of the day And then I just fill out my daily planner here um, this one was from yesterday so what I did was I just ticked off what I had done and then added just a few other things today but my note to self today is to take it easy so I'm going to do that and in my journal I wrote that my day is going to flow really calm and effortlessly and I'm going to be really present today so I'm trying not to put too much on my to-do list and there are things I can do when he has his sleep but we have an appointment this morning so um, for now, I'm just going to have my lemon water. I've done this and I'll probably try and just do a little bit of Pilates this morning before our appointment So then it's done and dusted for the day machine needs descaling it just took me so long to even get a shop board so hopefully I can froth the milk and then this will be a job today it's like every person's worst nightmare in the morning <laughs> is to see that flashing no, obviously he's waking up but he's sort of stirring so I'm gonna see if I can drink my coffee before going up to get him All right, I got it poured, so now I'm gonna sit down. So I just realized we have to leave here at 7.30 and Huxley's not up and has not had breakfast. So I might make him pancakes and then we can take them in the car. So I've just made my banana pancakes. So I'm gonna pop them in the car and we have to go, but he can just snuck on these in the car on the way to the appointment. Do your happy dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance. Hey. Happy dance gone. Is it over now? Why don't you show us one more little happy dance? Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. Hey guys, we are back from the shop. So I had that appointment this morning. We came home and then I ducked to Kmart and just got. A couple of chairs for outside actually because long story short we got like a beautiful boho cane lounge and we had crazy flooding and storms and it got mold all over it 
anyways it's gross so we're getting rid of that and i've got two new outdoor chairs i just got from kmart to be honest with you um so i've got them i'll show you them later anyway but why Hux is asleep, I wanted to chat to you guys about following your dreams and really living a purpose-driven life. And if you follow my Instagram, Blissful Health with Emma, you would know I'm all about living a life that lights you up. So back in the day, let's just say I was just I grew up with the belief that you just had to work a nine to five job whether you liked it or not. And that was sort of the momentum you carry through for the rest of your life. Like when you finish high school, you feel like you're almost pressured to choose your forever job. And I mean, you're 17 or 18. I was 17. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And all of a sudden it was like a whirlwind of you've got to either go to college or you've got to get a trade or you need to figure out your life right now. So for me, I ended up doing beauty, so I went to a beauty school and did my diploma in beauty therapy, which I actually really enjoyed. And I still do that part-time right now, and gosh, I'm 32 this year, and I've been doing it since I was 17, nearly 18 years old. So I've been doing it for a long time, and I loved it for such a long time. But back in 2013, when I started my health journey and I, I was met with all those health issues and the unhappiness and unworthiness feeling that I was getting towards myself, I started to really shift the way I lived. And therefore, my values changed, my core beliefs changed, and over a period of time, my purpose and passion sh shifted along with that. And with beauty... I put it down to the fact that I was helping people and making people feel really good about themselves. And in a way, that's what I'm doing now, doing health and nutrition coaching, like really inspiring people to live a life that makes them happy and that they're excited to wake up to. And it's not about restricting yourself. It's not about living a diet culture or limiting yourself from doing certain things. It's about finding that spark within you and waking up every single day and being that person you want to be, living that life you want to create and just really stepping into that person. And the whole core concept behind Blissful Health with Emma is dare to be you. Don't be afraid to do things that light you up because of what others think. And don't let your insecurities or your self-doubt get in the way or hold you back from doing something amazing. And that's why I wanted to sit down and chat with you. And I know this is sort of like a really random day in the life, but I had to do this because it's been on my chest for a while. And I wanted, I wanted to let you guys know that you have the ability to do that too. If you feel like you're stuck in a job that you've been in for years but you're unhappy with or perhaps you're a young mum or a new mum or even just a mum in general who feel like you've lost your way and you've had to put your passions and your interests and your goals aside to look after your family, which was, of course, your main priority. But you might be getting to the stage now where you are wanting to delve back into those really things that light you up and you have those goals you want to achieve and you are allowed to have a life of your own that's outside of your family. And that to me is one of the most important things to know is that you can have passions and little side projects and hobbies that don't actually have anything to do with your family and it's really important not only for yourself to feel inspired and empowered but you are setting an incredible example for your kids and your loved ones that they can achieve anything they set their mind to no matter how big or small it is they always have the ability to achieve anything they set their mind to so essentially if that's you, if you're feeling like there's something bigger out there for you, if you feel like you have shifted and you, you have changed along with the last few years of your life and you just don't know where it's heading or you, you just don't have the guts to really just go and do it, let this be your inspiration, girls, because if I hadn't have stepped out of my comfort zone all those years ago and said yes to an opportunity that, that honestly was the stepping stone for where I am now, 
I don't know what I would be doing. Like I always knew I was destined for more, I guess you could say. I always knew I had a bigger purpose than what I was doing, but I had no idea what it was. And it presented itself in the right time. So if yours hasn't presented itself, do not worry. And that opportunity that I accepted those many years ago wasn't the end all. It wasn't the end journey. It was literally a stepping stone. For me to get where I am now. I learned a lot. I failed a lot, but learnings come from failures. And I grew so much as a person just for stepping out of my comfort zone. So a really good question to ask yourself is where am I holding back and where can I put more of my energy into? And what are the things that truly light me up and how can I give those to others? And I remember doing a workshop months ago about finding your person and lip purpose and living it every single day and part of that if you haven't found your purpose or your passion yet is thinking about the things that you love to do it could be writing it could be drawing it could be dancing it could be traveling it could be helping others it could be anything it could be cooking creating it could be anything that makes your soul sing girl like something that you just, this is my jam, I'm vibing it, it's all about me. What is that for you? It doesn't have to be something massive. It could be something so little, like I love coloring or I love, you know, creating new recipes or it could be something massive, like I really love helping people figure out what's going on in their life and helping them move forward. It could be anything, guys. Like I'm rambling now. But Find what that thing is for you and then think about ways you can incorporate that into your life. Are there certain jobs that acquire that talent? Are there hobbies that you could do? Is there a little side project you could do for a friend or just for yourself to really step out there? Maybe there's a small mini course around for you or maybe you just need to join a Facebook group that aligns with that purpose and that passion and that could be you stepping out of your comfort zone to meet more people that are aligned with that purpose. That was my first step. It was surrounding myself with people who were like-minded, who loved what I liked to do, who felt the same way about life, who saw, who had pretty much the same core beliefs as I do and I think of knowing your core beliefs is a really good place to start. Your core belief is essentially what you live by. It's how you see yourself and the world around you. Pretty much your mantra to life. Like for me, I believe that everything happens for a reason in its own divine time, even if we can't see it at the time. For example, I had a miscarriage back in October last year, which to me was just so devastating. And of course, I sat there and I was like, why? Like, what is the lesson here? Like, universe, why are you doing this to me right now? Like, we are so worthy. We're so deserving. Like, why would you do that to me? And at the time, I couldn't see anything but that, obviously. I tried to look for the silver lining. And now I look back and you know what? It probably wasn't the best time. I actually wasn't that well myself. I was quite sick then um, and I feel like now if we were to have a child now onwards I feel like I would be more confident and stronger to do so because he's at a better age now he's a little bit more understanding and just mentally I feel like I needed to go through that to really appreciate what I have right now and that's what I mean about everything happening for a reason finding that silver lining um, and also my other core belief is if you want an amazing, incredible, happy life, you need to wake up every single day and just live it. Be that person, live that life. Look at everything as if a cup's half full. And that's not saying you're going to have down days. Fully have down days, guys. I have days where I'm in like a rut I can't get out of it and that's okay too you just need to not go hard on yourself and you need to say okay what do I need right now I need to rest I need to go within I just need to have a slow chilled day and that's absolutely okay it's listening to what your body's trying to tell you then and there so I feel like I'm rambling a little bit because I'm so passionate about this but pretty much once you find something that you're really interested in and that lights you up or if it's something you have already put on hold and you want to get back into, I want you to really think about 
like a lot of people don't know if that's the right step for them. And a good question I like to ask myself, is my energy worth giving to this if I'm not giving it to my children or my loved ones? So if you're going to be distracted or taking your time away from your loved ones, yourself or your family, is it worth, is this task, is this hobby, is this project worth that time? And if you're like, yeah, hell yeah it is. It like lights me up so much. I'm a better person when I'm doing something I love. Therefore, I'm a better person around my family. It's a big hell yes. Then you know you're on the right path. You know that's the right thing to do. I'm doing something I love. My vibration is so high, guys. Like I am such a joy to be around. Therefore, that is so good for them. And not only that, but seeing me work hard towards something I'm really passionate about is a really good influence for them going forward, for them to follow their passions and to do things that they really love and not be afraid to go outside the norm of a nine to five job and know that you can have a side project. You can work hard if you want to and if it really lights you up. You don't have to live what society sort of conforms us that we need to live. Believe in yourself, believe in the journey you're on, believe in the life you are creating and believe that you're worthy of it and you will not have a problem, girl. The last piece of advice is to stay close to the fire. And these are all things I have done. I have them written down because these are all things I have done to really help step into my power every single day. One of the biggest ones is stay close to the fire, beautiful. That is surrounding yourself with like-minded people every day. And Instagram, I find social media is really great for this because you can really meet so many people from all over the world that love the same thing you do. Podcasts, I like to listen to inspiring and empowering podcasts to really get me in the zone and really kickstart that inspiration. I either do it on my work or in the car or sometimes I'll even just play it while I'm cleaning up around the house. Books, reading is another great way to really align yourself with where you're going and almost like that support system you need to be like, oh, okay, you're on the right path, keep going, like you've got this girl. The moment you step away from that and start withdrawing and taking yourself out of those um, really empowering situations and go within, that's when you start to lose that confidence, you get that self-doubt and then you sort of go back to that sort of wheel of life that we're constantly juggling and you sort of get stuck back into old habits and old ways and we don't want that girlfriend. We do not want that. So stay close to the fire and just tuning within, like making sure you're going within every single day, asking how you're feeling, where you're at and what you need. That is so powerful. But anyways, that was probably a big ramble, but I really hope you got some helpful tips to get you out of the rut you're in and to really help you live a passion and purpose-driven life. So let me know what you think of those tips. I would really love for you to leave a comment if that resonated with you or if you have a tip of your own that's really helped you step into your power, please leave it below because I know I would love to hear it and I know all the other women would love to hear it. We need to start really empowering and encouraging each other because we are capable of so much. We just need to support each other in this journey. But anyways... Why Hux is asleep, I'm going to have a little chill time. I've got some emailing and some content to create. So I will see you all when Huxie's awake. So I've just made some lunch. I just made a jam-packed salad. So I am obsessed with olives now. doesn't matter if they're green or purple, but honestly, if you want to add a lot of flavor into a salad, olives, they give it that beautiful saltiness and a little bit of acidity so good and then i've just got eggs for protein and it's got cucumber beetroot tomato lettuce and i'm just gonna pop a little bit a little bit because it's hot a little bit of this shirasha chili on top and a bit of tahini and we are good to go but we're doing homemade pizzas for dinner and i'm hungry but i'm not starving so this will be really yummy here, here. do you want i don't know how many times he's broken these pencils all right. That one doesn't need sharpening, no. See, that one's already got... That doesn't need sharpening. This one needs sharpening. See how it hasn't got any colour? Nope. Very, very independent, guys. 
we're definitely going through the independent stage of wanting to do everything yourself. Are you going to actually colour or are you just going to try and sharpen them? Yeah. Hey? Hey? <laughs> How's the concentration? That one. That one doesn't need sharpening either. You're going to break it. I didn't break it. No, it didn't break. This one's broken though. Bang, bang. Bang, break, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's doing really good with his talking. Like he's really trying to actually make sentences, even though it's still jumbled. Ben? Ben? Why? Oh, you're going to sharpen it. Okay, hang on. All right, so we had a disaster with dinner. We're doing homemade pizzas and I forgot to get pizza bases. And I don't have enough ingredients to make my own pizza bases, which is what I normally do because I have to do gluten and dairy-free. So I made them with what I had, which was gluten-free plain flour and buckwheat flour. And anyways, it, I'll show you. Just a bloody disaster. Just a disaster. But anywho, we shall prevail and we're still gonna do pizzas. So I've got mushroom, tomato, zucchini, and roasted pumpkin for the topping. And we're actually going to do this barbecue flated jackfruit. This is so good, guys. If you haven't tried this, oh my God, we did sausage rolls with this um, one other time and it was so good. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. The verdict, guys, not too bad. Not great. <laughs> yeah, we got damper for base. What do you think, babe? Well, let me have a bite. Doesn't look too bad. Not everyday pizza. Oh, who? See, and I kept this in here, guys, because mummies. Hey, you having pizza too? Is it good? Pick him up with two hands. Because healthy nutrition coaches don't always have successful recipes. Crust first. Crust, the crust first. You can tell us if the crust is good. <laughs> Not complaining so far. Can't be that bad. I don't know. Anyways, guys, this is it. Bon appetit. Hey, guys, it's Saturday morning. I didn't end up vlogging last night because it was a crazy house. Anyway, we were so tired, ended up going to bed. And Fridays is always my meal plan day. I always sit down, write out the meals for the week and what we need. So I'm doing it now before work. So on this one i just write out monday to sunday like our meals for the week and then on my shopping list i just write what we need so i already had a few things of like what we ran out of during the week so now i'm just going to go through and add all of the ingredients we need for the recipes <laughs> Got me up all night Putting things on the side What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie So guys, I've finished. So this is our meals for the week. We try to normally do a really good mixture of vegetarian. Um, normally Monday is meatless Monday, but if we get salmon, we like to have it fresh. And the chickpea Caesar salad is actually a recipe I developed for the Health Haven. So I might actually share that with you guys because it's so easy and so delicious. Um, so that's what I do. I write that out, put that on my fridge. And my shopping list also sticks on the fridge, which is why I love it so much. And what I'll do now is I'll just peel that top sheet off and take it to the markets, the farmer's markets. I just needed to get the fruit and veg so I can go get that. And we are good to go. But in all honesty, guys, sitting down on a Friday, planning out my meals, saves so much stress and time during the week. I literally never have to go to the supermarket during the week. I hate that. I We go to the farmer's markets on a Saturday morning, which I'm pretty late because i got to go to work today. Um, the farmer's market Saturday, Sunday we do the rest of our shopping at the supermarket and that's all we do all week and I love it and honestly if you can get yourself some really helpful tools like my shopping list or the meal planner to put on your fridge, seriously, I love it. It just goes straight on like that and then I'm just going to 
rip that one off and take it with me. But anyway, guys, I've got to go to work today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to take that step, that next step into living your most amazing, fabulous, crazy, exciting life ever. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel and build my channel and help really get to more women out there. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.